to do today. I know. Let's go outside. <coughs> hmm. That's not good. Ah, okay. So we can't go out. I bet for a long time, so... What are we gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play some Mario Kart. Not just any Mario Kart. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Funny thing. This game is the shit. I hope. I hope. I don't know. It could suck. It could suck badass. But I hope it's not. So, let's take out our very nice Game Boy and let's start playing. Why do I always have to turn into some stupid looking shit? Oh well, might as well start with the game. But before... This is Mario. <laughs> okay, this is Mario, and he needs to save a princess who likes mushrooms from a giant lizard. But he was too fat and tired, so he got a car! So the Mario Kart series is well known as classics when it comes to racing games. We all have played one or two Mario games when we were kids or better even today. It all started with Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo released in 1992 which put a bunch of characters from the Super Mario games on the speedway ready to race and claim victory. Later in 1996. We got Mario Kart 64 for the Nintendo 64, a classic, and also you were able to play 4 players, which was amazing back then. And the game had even more advanced graphics, like more 3D, and also the game added a few more modes. So when Nintendo was gonna release the Game Boy Advance, they mashed up Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart 64 and mixed it up and BAM! That's what we got! So, we got a few modes, we got Mario Grand Prix, Time Trial and Quick Run. And they're, yeah, they're essential to the Mario Kart games from now on, so I'm gonna talk about them. And we got a few difficulties, we got 50, 100 and 150. And the characters are basically the same, like in Mario Kart 64. So there's not a lot of difference except the stats. And Wario. He's a creepy guy. <laughs> The gameplay is more the same like Super Mario Kart and the Mario Kart 64 versions. They all, they all play the same, it has uh, good schematics and uh, yeah, it's pretty slippery sometimes, but you get used to it in a while. At least I do. So you got coins that you collect so you could go faster and uh, they're pretty important if you want to get good scores and maybe even get good rankings so you could unlock more stuff. At least that's what happened to me. And you also pick up items which could be the green shell, also you could get three of those, the banana, the red shell, also you can get three of those, the mushroom, and you can get three of those as well. I know, I say that a lot, but that's true. Also you could get the spiny shell, also known as the blue shell, which is a pain if you're the number one racer. You can also get the boo, who could steal items and make you invincible for a bit amount of time and the lightning which shrinks everybody and that's that's pretty useful if you're uh, if you suck and also we can't forget about the star power the star power oh yeah now time travel is, is just to get good scores and all that stuff. I don't usually play them so much, but yeah, it's it's about to get the best time. You know. The time! Now, quick run! That's very useful if you're a new beginner or never played a Mario Kart before. Now, this mode actually lets you just play one race, not four in every cup, so 
It's a great way to learn the stages and maybe a few shortcuts, but I really recommend it if you're new to the series. So it's a good addition. I really like it. It's nice. You can also connect for Game Boys and play together with your friends. If I had an ear! But the Mario Grand Prix is the thing we're gonna play the most. And we got a lot of cups we're gonna play. Also, we're gonna unlock the special cup later, so there's a lot of things to do. <laughs> you're gonna play through the super circuit stages, you're gonna play the beaches, the ghost house, and even the jungle. But there's one stage that takes the prize. The cheese stage! stage. <laughs> Oh, the cheeses, the lovely cheeses, some Italian cheeses perhaps, like gorgonzola, mozzarella, parmigiano formaggio, or pecorino, no, no, we just get a lot of cheddar, cheddar. I like cheddar, I mean it's cheese. <laughs> And also, I'm always playing as my favorite character. Donkey Kong! Oh yes! A DK! Mm, Donkey Kong! That's right! Also, in this game, he sounded like this. <laughs> I think that's a lot better, because nowadays he usually sounds like this. Now if you manage to get golden cups, then you will be able to unlock the special cup with even more tracks as Rainbow Road. Maybe this is just me, but these stages are a bit more tricky, not so much, but they really tell you to work for it. Especially if you're playing on the hardest difficulty, I mean, uh, uh, then you gotta learn the stages really well. Although they are really fun, I gotta say it's uh, sometimes a pain of trying to win these. And uh, probably by the footage you can see that I suck ass. Ass! Ah! Eh, I'm sorry, Wario. <laughs> you were supposed to be number one. I did. Oh, oh, oh. Was that a giant fish? Was that a giant fish flying over? There, there, there's no water here. So. Oh, Wario, uh, you look, uh, you look weird. Now, son, don't you be as drunk as Wario. Listen, don't you even dare drink and drive. Now, if you manage to get good at the game and even collect a lot of coins when you're doing the Grand Prix races, you will be able to lock the Super Nintendo tracks from the Super Mario Kart game. And oh my god, that's a lot. So in total, you get... 40 tracks, 40 racing tracks, I, I'm not here to judge, but that's a lot of, that's a lot of shit right there. So I gotta say, it's, well, you can't complain about the tracks because there's a lot of them. Also, it's pretty fun playing the old tracks because they're much smaller now on the Game Boy Advance. Or it's, it's it could be just me, but it's really fun and really tight races, so I really enjoy it. Now let's talk about the looks of the game. Some can say that it looks worse since this came after Mario Kart 64, but let's remember, this is a handheld game, so it's not as powerful. But we can say this, it's an upgraded Super Mario Kart version, that's what we can say. It's like the Super Mario Kart version, but upgraded and it looks great. Some stages have some animations like the rain or the sun going up from each lap, it's it's a lot of different, and I gotta say, it looks great, even for this standards. I mean, today we got Mario Kart on the Nintendo DS and 3DS, and even Mario Kart on the Nintendo Switch, which we can have like a portal device, so... So I, I gotta say, at this time, when this came out, it looks great. I mean, I think it looks great, even today. It could be that I'm a retro nerd, so I don't know. But it looks cartoony, and it really fits the style. There's not much to say about the soundtrack, it's your typical Mario soundtrack, what can I say? 
each individual track fits the stage very perfectly. Like the beach stage has some Kobe feel and a lot of, you know, water theme stuff and the Bowser Castle, it's, it's a, a lot more heavy and a bit more stressful since it's all the flames and all that, so it really fits good. But of course, my favorite track of all it has to be the cheese. Oh, cheese! 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 I'm gonna judge the difficulty depending on cats. I know that sounds weird, but let's go. If you're playing on 50cc, that's the best mode if you're new to the series and really wanna learn and you know get the controls to really fit with how you're gonna drive. And even if you've never played a Mario Kart before, that's the best way to go with it. And if you're playing it with 100cc, then that's a bit more challenging. You really need to remember like, oh yeah, I need to remember the stages quite well. Uh, but still, you could fail a few times and still come out on top. But the other drivers are really gonna try to mess with you. So it's a bit more challenging, but you're possibly gonna manage it. So that's what I'm gonna say about that one. And 150 cc. Now that's the that's the that's the meanest shit ever. I gotta say, it's not that I'm bad, but I gotta say really, when I play 150, everyone is like the master grade when it comes to driving. They all know. Oh, he failed. Well, let's go and drive past him, that bastard. That's basically always what happens. So if you're playing on 150 cc, you gotta you you have to learn all the stages like superbly. You need to learn every corner, you, and you have to. You never have to fail. I mean, you have to be perfect if you're gonna be do this. Maybe it's just me, but that's how I felt. It's how it works. So yeah, you gotta be a really good driver to really like get on top with this one. So the 50 cc, I'm gonna give a nice little cat, which gonna you can pet it, you can do basically whatever you're gonna want, and he's still gonna like you. So that's basically the judgment I'm gonna give for that difficulty. Now 100cc, I'm gonna give more a bit, you know, a bit more challenging cat, you know, he could piss you off, but still he really likes you deep inside. And uh, 150, I'm gonna give you this evil son of a bastard cat. Now this cat is really hell and Satan evil incarnate. That's what I'm gonna give 150 as a score. So can I recommend this game to anyone? Well, of course, it's a Mario Kart game. Like, are you, I, 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 of course you need to get this game, especially if you're a collector. I mean, if you like Mario games, then this is a must have. I mean, it's one of the classics. It's the first game that came on a handheld game. So it it's sort of a, it's sort of a, how should I say, it's like, one that started it, well, not basically, but on the handheld point, this was the one that started it. So, I really recommend this game. The controls are a bit difficult sometimes, but maybe if you if you have played Mario Kart on DS and 3DS, then this could be a bit difficult, maybe, because the, you know, the slip and sliding and stuff. But if you really love Mario games and racing games overall, I, I can't stop recommending this game, because it's... It's a really, it's a good game. It's a good game. It's really fun, and if you manage to find someone who also has it, then you can play it together. So yeah, go pick it up. Do it. Uh, pick up the game now. You need to go and buy the game now. Now, oh, come on. Hey, hope you liked the video, everyone. Or maybe not. You maybe hated it. Well then, just throw it out the window. I don't care. I just want to tell you that I have a friend who also has a YouTube channel. His name is Bontycoon. And he plays a lot of cool games on his channel. He plays, for example, Nier Automata. Ha <laughs> ha, I know you know who that is. <laughs> well, her name is 2B, but let's go on, let's go on. Also, he does a lot of cool unboxing videos, especially for Game Boy consoles, which is quite fitting since Mario Kart Super Circuit is for the Game Boy Advance, don't you say? He also plays a game that you can play on your mobile or on PC that is called... LORDS MOBILE It's a strategy game where you build up your empire and fight your friend M Maybe you could fight your friends, but maybe not And you fight enemies and level up and you know become a great warrior So please go ahead and check him out. I, I really really recommend it and maybe even subscribe